In today's video of new Blender add-ons, we're gonna take a look at add-ons that allow you to create beautiful street signs, rendering, texturing, productivity, and more. So without further ado, let's jump right in. We're gonna start with a new add-on called Procedural Signs. So what is it? This add-on is a way for you to create any type of neon sign simply by picking a type and adjusting some presets. This is so much easier than creating everything from scratch as it allows you to pick between multiple types of signs and adjust an infinite amount of settings and options, which will change depending on the type of sign you want to make. The add-on offers six types of signs, big screens, billboards, channel signs, LED screens, light signs, and neon signs. Each type is denoted by a different image, so it is very easy to figure out which one you want. Each of these types also has different ways to create. For example, Neon has three ways to create, from text, from SVG files, or you can draw them manually, which will allow you to draw anything you want using the free hand spline tool. For instance, you can adjust the text, the font, and the scale of the text itself. And because the tool is procedural and built on top of geometry nodes, you don't have to scale everything manually. Everything of the sign will scale up or down, depending on the scale of the text or any element. You can also adjust the neon color, emission strength, and how many cuts separate the actual lights, which is cool. Also, did I mention that most of these signs can be animated? That's right. It will depend on the type of the sign, of course, but flickering and scrolling signs can be adjusted through the animation section with a lot of control as well, which is something that can save you a ton of time, especially if you are trying to add a lot of these to your scene. Also, no neon sign is complete without some wires going through its different segments and here you can control how many electric wires are in the sign and how much the actual wires are sagging and so on. I would add, you can also adjust the mount or how the sign is mounted on the wall. Last but not least, we have the preset section, where you can pick between 30 plus pre-created signs. These ones can be adjusted a little and they can be a great addition to your backdrop because I can definitely see myself using a lot of these in my city environment projects. One of the most time-consuming tasks that I really hate is constantly exporting and importing assets, textures, models, you name it, from one software to another. Whether it is from Blender to Substance, or from Substance to Unreal, and vice versa. And please don't remind me why I had to go back and make changes. Why can't we sync our work through all software instantly? Right? Well, this add-on right here can help you at least cover the Blender part. Usync is a Blender add-on that allows you to sync your Blender projects with Unreal, in addition to reconstructing your scene in seconds, and take advantage of Blender's powerful physics capabilities in Unreal Engine, which can be useful. In addition to a ton of other features, such as a toolset targeted at level design, easy snapping settings, as well as support for blueprint actors and static meshes. Now we're gonna talk about the Render Manager add-on RenderSat, which was created by Polygonic, which have add-ons like Botanic, Materialic, Traffic, Aquatic, and so on. But this one is called RenderSat. To be honest, I'm a little bit confused and disappointed because they should have followed the same naming convention. Anyways, the add-on allows you to set up multiple renders to render at the same time. Have you ever wanted to render your scene from different angles but you had to wait for one for the other to start. Render Sand will save you a lot of time by allowing you to batch render multiple variations of your scene automatically. And the usability of the add-on does not stop there. We mentioned batch rendering, but you can also use multiple contacts in the same scene. For instance, you can render your scene in the morning, in the day, and in the nighttime. Render Sand can do all that by remembering each contact's camera, world, collection, frames and settings. So it is basically a new scene for each render, and this works on both still images as well as animations. You can choose your scene contacts based on your viewport as well as based on your cameras. So if you set up multiple cameras, you can use that as well. And finally, the user interface. These render sets, different contacts, cameras, and passes can get confusing sometimes, but the add-on provides a really simple interface where the only thing you will see is actually the stuff that you will need. So if you need this functionality and you find yourself losing a lot of time setting up all these renders 
and doing everything manually, then this add-on is gonna be for you. We also have Color Grid Generator. This add-on by Amandeep does exactly what its name suggests. It allows you to generate color atlases for low-poly textures directly within Blender's interface, which can enhance your workflow and save you a lot of time. Some of its features are the ability to control the resolution settings, pick exactly how many columns and rows you need, as well as custom color selection. One cool feature that the add-on offers as well is the ability to leverage color palettes like the ones you can find on websites such as colors.co. You can simply copy the link to the color palette and use it to generate a grid by holding control while clicking the generate button and the add-on will incorporate the color palette into your scene. The color grid can also be applied to different objects and different UVs by automatically assigning different UV islands to different colors. Furthermore, the colors are fully customizable so you can go back and switch any of them later on. Finally, you don't have to use solid colors because you can easily use gradient instead. If you want to add dirt, grime, and weathering effects to your 3D models, then you can use Dirtify, which is going to help you add more realism to your scenes. There are a lot of add-ons that can provide this type of functionality. Each one of these is great, but today we're going to add this one to the list. It can really transform your assets drastically. Adding that dirt to any model allows you to blend in the environment nicely. Some of its Dirtify's major features is that it is ambient occlusion driven, which is the right way to add dirt, automatically identifying those hard to reach areas and crevices where it makes sense to collect some dirt. The dirt also does not interfere with your original material, but it will be applied on top of it as a separate layer and all the customizations and seamless textures. This can be a simple but a great add-on. We all know that Blender isn't the best when it comes to texturing, but if you need a quick dirt solution, this is probably for you. So guys, if you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.